Hello, welcome to this video. It's Lena here from DataLena.com, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to set up a VPS on your phone. All right, so I'm showing you how to set up a VPS on your phone, and with this, you can use it to automate your COTP trade, and this can be running two four seven without you even being there to do anything on the trade. All right. So if you are new to this channel, if this is the first time of seeing my video, consider subscribing, hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like this are published on the channel. And if you gain value from this video, do give it a thumbs up. The more likes I get on this video, the more YouTube get to recommend it to every other person who will need help in setting up a VPS on their phone um, device. All right. So I made a video previously on how to get a cheap VPS and I did that with the iPortal website. I will leave a link in the video description to if you want to set up a VPS using iPortal, you can you know use the link in the description to sign up. And then if you have not seen that video, I will only leave a link in the description to go see that video. So after you've purchased your VPS, all right, um, after you've purchased your VPS, the Windows VPS information will be sent to you as, as you can see on this email. All right So the information will be sent to you and if I scroll down you will see a link where they will ask you to log in um, Use the link to log in and then the username and the password that you created that has been sent to you All right, so those informations are what we need to use to log into the website. Okay They sent us a website here to log in to our VPS account and then they generated it in the username and then the password you created Okay, so what we are going to do now is to click on this link, open up this link, and then use this information, this username and password they sent to us to log into the account. All right, so I just go ahead and, and do that. Let me click on the link. All right, so once you click on the link, it brings you to a page like this. This is where you are going to add, add, put your username and then the password. All right, so once you just add in these details, go ahead and click on login. And it, once again, there is a step-by-step -step video on how to set up this VPS. It's only after you set it up that we send you this information. All right, so once we log in, okay we want to click this is where we use to create our vps okay we use this one so you want to go ahead and click on it where it says vps click on this icon and once we click on the icon okay in the in the, in the video i'm referring to you create click on create vps and you can go ahead and set up your vps but in this case i've created mine already which is this one okay i just want to get the ip address because that's what i'm going to use on my phone so i'll go ahead and click on this again to log in and then once I click to log in, I want to come in here to click on network, all right? Because that is where we are going to get the IP address. So I'll go ahead and click on network. All right, so now that I click network, this is our concern here. This is the address you want to copy, okay? This is what we are going to need to use the VPS on our phone, okay? So once again, the video to set up a VPS is in the description. Go ahead and see that video because it is after you set up the VPS that you are going to have access to this IP address. All right. So I will go ahead and copy this IP address. All right. Go ahead and copy it. With this copied, I'm done with this. All right. Then the next thing I want to do is to go to Play Store. So I'll go ahead and click on my Play Store. And on the Play Store, I'm using Play Store because I'm using um, Android. So if you're using iOS, then you can go to your App Store. So once I come in, I want to type remote. Um, so you go ahead and type remote desktop and then click on it. Okay. So once we type remote desktop, we want to go ahead and install this first one from Microsoft. Okay. This remote desktop from Microsoft, we'll go ahead and install that first one there. Click on it and then click on install. So that is installing. We just give it a moment to finish installing, okay? All right, so as you can see, it has finished installing. I'll just go ahead and click on open, all right? So I'll just click on open here. And then once it opens, go ahead and click on accept. And here is, the this page here is blank, all right? Um, so we don't have anything to work with here. So the next thing you want to do to add up your VPS is to click on this plus icon here at the top right. Okay. So you click on the plus icon to add up that VPS and then we are going to add a PC. All right. So just click on add PC and once you click on add PC, it will ask you for the host name or the IP address. All right. So you can either use the host name or the IP address to log in. So I just go ahead and put in that IP address that I copied. Okay. That is the IP address that we copied. 
So once we add in that API address, the next thing is to click on save here at the top, okay? Once, leave every other thing the way it is. You don't need um, any other thing. Just paste your IP address and then click on save, okay? Once you click on save, you see that that um, VPS we set up has been added here, all right? So now to log into this VPS, I'll just go ahead and click on it, okay? So once I click on it, um, identity of remote PC can't be verified, okay? So we'll go ahead and click on connect. All right, just click on connect. And as you can see, it has been connected. So in order to have access to it, the password that you created, okay, is the one you are going to put in here. The administrator password you created when you were setting up your, P, um, your VPS is what you are going to add up here, okay? So as you can see, I can move that mouse the cursor around you can see by just dragging on my phone screen so if i put it here it will go ahead and then just tap on it so once i move this mouse to where i'm going to type my password okay once the mouse is blinking here okay the next thing is to click on this keyboard to be able to type a password so i just go ahead and click on that keyboard icon to type the password all right all right, so once I finish typing the password, the next thing is to drag, okay, by just holding and, you know, moving on your screen. I will just drag this cursor here and click, hover it over here, okay, and then go ahead and click on submit, all right? So once I submit, it automatically logs on to the VPS we created. You can see that the same VPS that I have access to, let me just remove this keyboard. You see that everything is working here, all right? So you see that everything is working. This is the VPS that I had access to on my computer, meaning that even on the phone, I can start monitoring what this is doing on my computer, right? So I'll just move this once I hover over the close here, okay? Uh, if I want to close it, I'll just go ahead and, you know, click on it and it will close up this, all right? Any of these that is open, if, if for instance, if I want to close this, once I hover over it and click, okay, it will close it up. So that is it. You have access to your VPS on your phone and you can be monitoring it from your phone. All right. So you can just go ahead and you know start editing whatever details you have here. And then when you want to run, you just go ahead over over the run and then double click on it and it will run. I've showed you how to do all of these things in the previous video. So you can go ahead and see that video and see how to you know, be able to set up this. The most important thing I wanted to show you in this video is how to get access to this VPS computer using your phone, all right? I hope you gain value from this. And with this, you can be able to use it to manage your account, meaning that you can always check, or even on the go, you can always check your account and see how it's doing. All right. Now, if you need access to the automated script, you want to use it to automate your COTP trading, then all you just need to do is to use the link we have provided in the video description to sign up for COTP and then equally join the Telegram group. Link is equal in the video description. And let's see how best we can help you to automate your trading. And I bet you this is one of the best things that can ever happen to you in this space. All right. So if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up and if there is anything you're confused with, you can always use the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video.